I focus on how governments or the international community deals with disease outbreaks and pandemics. I study radio signals from the distant universe. The aim of my research is to find better dietary treatments for obesity. My research is on Australian politics and democracy. I look at political parties and try to understand why political parties aren't really operating in the ways that we want them to. The research I'm focusing on is about materials for energy storage and conversion. I was someone who did struggle with obesity and I knew that the strategies that were available were really second rate. What I'm going to be doing is looking more specifically at how Australian political parties can better engage multicultural Australians. The decisions that we see leaders and politicians make, how that can have real life impacts on people's everyday lives. Probably about once a year or so you get some result where you think, wow, wow, that is, that's good, no one's, no one's had that before. If light has taken billions of years to reach us, then at the time we receive the signal, we're actually seeing a picture of the universe as it was billions of years ago. The challenge is to get that next fellowship, but it's also a real thrill because it means that if we're in the game, we're in the top of the game. What do you think is the biggest misconception about um, being an academic? <laughs> we're all very nerdy introverts and we have no social life. Um, and some of those things are partly true. <laughs> Uh, the fact that we do no work all day. What kind of person calls themselves doctor when they're not a, not a medical doctor? Yeah. And I was kind of just <laughs> hiding there. I call myself Dr. Amanda. Yeah.